Simpsons. Top of the bill here tonight, still to come for the British light heavyweight title. Simpson against Baker, we're really looking forward to this. First on Simpson, Nicky, the frustrations he's had on the way up, has it concentrated him and made him more efficient? I think so. I, think so. I, I can't say he's, re he's really had frustrations. He's, he's lost a few fights, but he's come back, he's improved in form, and uh, he's now looking like a championship contender. Uh, he'll be, uh, he's in great condition. Mark Baker's been there before, he's done it, but he hasn't quite done it, if you know what I mean. He's boxed for the super middleweight title, Commonwealth and British titles, uh, but he's lost on both occasions. He looks like an oldish super middleweight against a young uh, light heavyweight to me. Right. European champions with us tonight, Adam Smith talking to Clinton Woods. Clinton, two hardened professionals in Neil Simpson and Mark Baker. Expect a war? Uh, yeah, definitely. Every fighter uh, Baker's in seems to be a war. Uh, I just think that Simpson's uh, superior boxing skills should uh, bring him out on the points victory. He was preparing for Darren Corbett. How will that throw him? Well, uh, I think he's quite lucky, really, because uh, Corbett is similar, similar to um, Baker. But Corbett bangs a bit harder. Um, but I think, I think he should be all right with it. Now, you fought Mark Baker before and were victorious in a Commonwealth title fight. What are his strengths and weaknesses? I think uh, Baker's strengths is he comes forward, he's got true grit, he's a, a very good chin. He doesn't hit that hard, but he'll keep coming here all night. A lot of his punches are literally on the gloves, but I, I just think that, uh, Simpson's going to have a bit, bit too much for him, a bit too short for him tonight. You pick Simpson by stoppage? Uh, Simpson, 12 rounds, victory. Thank you, Clinton. Right, thank you. Vacant title, great chance for somebody. It's next. Football League playoff finals for you this coming weekend. Friday, the Division Three final, Darlington against Peterborough. Sunday, Gillingham against Wigan in the second division final. And next Monday, Barnsley against Ipswich Town, the first division final. All three Football League playoff finals this weekend, live only on Sky Sports. Top of the bill here tonight in Coventry for the vacant British light heavyweight title, John MacDonald. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the main event. Would you please walk up to the ring now from Lewisham, Mark Baker. Well, here he is, the popular and gritty Mark Baker. His phone rang just five days ago, telling him that this fight was being offered to him when Darren Corbett pulled out because of a contractual dispute. Would he be prepared to take the fight? You bet he would. <laughs> Of course he would. British title fight, Pierre Deer. He'd love to take that opportunity. He's that sort of fighter. He's rugged, he's tough. He'll give his best. And to use his own phrase, he's got a chin like a concrete post. It's a good description, isn't it? He's right. Well, it's, it's, it's a good thing to have if you're making a, a living as a boxer. And, ironically enough, he's done 16 rounds of sparring with the man he faces tonight, Neil Simpson, while Simpson was getting ready to fight Corbett. So how odd would it be if Baker was to turn things around completely and go and win the championship here? And ladies and gentlemen from Coventry, Neil Simpson. Neil Simpson, who works in Coventry's famous car industry. But his bosses gave him five weeks off to prepare for this, the biggest night of his boxing life. Can he become the city's first British champion since the days of heavyweight Danny McAlinden and welterweight Bobby Arthur back in the 1970s? 11 defeats on his record. Doesn't look very good, but a lot of those have been very, very close. And last time out against Darren Corbett, he was on the wrong end of what looked a bit of a dodgy decision, to be honest with you. 
Yes, it did. But you know, he's back here. He's got a, a chance to, to win the British title, and uh, you know, it's a credit that he's worked hard in, in what's been a tough career to finally get here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event, the fight of the night. Ringside Boxing Promotions proudly present 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant British Light Heavyweight Championship and that coveted Lonsdale Bell. All sponsored here by the Daily Star. And a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live here on Sky Sports. Our listeners here on TalkSport 1089 and 1053 on the medium wave. And a very warm welcome also to our listeners here on BBC Radio, Coventry and Warwickshire. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control here present with us at ringside. Our steward in charge is Mr. Charles Giles and Mr. Dave Rowder. Our timekeeper at the bell from Sutton Caulfield is Mr. Brian Heath and our referee in charge of the action and one of the leading referees in the world today from London, Mr. Dave Paris. They are the officials and here are the contestants. Firstly, and introducing to you, he's fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the red, white, and blue trunks and weighed in at 12 stone and six pounds. He brings a 27 fight record, 23 wins, 15 inside the scheduled distance, and only four defeats. He's making his third attempt at that coveted Lonsdale belt. He is from Lewisham. Please welcome Mark Baker. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing those famous sky blue trunks and weighed in at 12 stone, 6 pounds, 6 ounces. And bringing a 27 fight record, 16 wins, 7 inside the scheduled distance and 11 defeats. He comes to the ring as the former Midland area light heavyweight champion from the Premiership City of Coventry. the vacant British Light Heavyweight Championship and that coveted Lonsdale Belt. Great when I tell you to, defend yourself all the time. Shake hands boys, good luck to you. Neil Simpson, who used to box as a heavyweight in his amateur days, he won two Midlands Championships as a heavyweight. And Mark Baker, who not that long ago was a middleweight. So Simpson naturally the bigger man. It's only the second fight up at light heavy for late substitute Mark Baker, who's now 30. Simpson just a year younger, and quite a start between them as they contest this British light heavyweight crown, which goes all the way back to 1914, the year that the First World War broke out. Well, Baker starting to quite wildly. He's you know, looking to try and catch Simpson early. You know, he's on a position where he's coming late. May feel he's got nothing really to lose and just has to go for it early. Just carrying a little bit of extra bulk around the midriff at this weight by the look of it, Baker. Simpson ought to be prepared for the moment. He says he's never trained so long and hard and properly for a fight in his life as this one. Physically, he says, I'm at my peak. He's the one in the blue trunks. The hometown boy getting all the support here tonight, Neil Simpson. Six-inch reach advantage for him as well here, Glenn. Yes, that should make a bit of difference. He's got to try and keep Baker on the outside, use that reach. How effective at this weight can Baker be? He was a very durable customer at middle and super middleweight. Does get harder as you go up the way, T, and the, the power is always a bit more, and it's tougher to take the shots from the bigger man. Better accuracy from Simpson in this first round. Decent body shots 
from Baker, but Simpson, the jab is going to be key for him tonight. The big is not that elusive, so that's uh, something that Simpson has to use and use well. He's got to get big on the end of that jab. His first major title fight, Neil Simpson. Baker, who'd more or less retired a few months ago. I remember him telling me, I've just about packed it in, but he hasn't, of course. He's back. Nice chopping left hook from Simpson there, just looking to put Baker on the back foot. Good right hand. Just looked a bit wobbly then, Baker, when that one landed. Maybe feeling the extra weight of the full-blown light heavyweights punching. Welcome back to Coventry. Good start for Neil Simpson. He seemed to just rock Baker a bit towards the end of the round there. Yes, he did. Those long right hands catching Baker a little off balance and they were just taking a bit out of him. Just grasping for his, to find his feet and find his balance when hit with those shots. Second round for the British light heavyweight crown, the classic 12 and a half stone division. Oh, and a right to the body from Baker, and Simpson is down. Well, there's a turn up. Has to take a mandatory eight count. Got careless for a moment. Really good shot from Baker, who fancies that at the end of a long and deserving career, he might just come up with something here. Simpson knows enough to hold on and try to buy time. Well, he was down with a body punch against Corbett Simpson and a body punch hit him there and Baker really putting the pressure on. Well, it's an amazing development. He's not known as a big puncher either, Mark Baker, not even at the lower weights. Right hand on the counter from Simpson, but Baker right on top. The Gypsy from Lewisham, Mark Baker, looking to follow Gypsy Daniels and Johnny Frankham as men who've held this championship. That's just a slip this time from Simpson. Well, it's getting rugged in there. This is about power at the moment. Who's got the more strength and power in close? Simpson has to get through the round and replan. Baker pouring in the punches. Still hasn't got over the knockdown, I don't think, Simpson. Covering up pretty well. Baker knows now where to head for, the body. Well, it's been good pressure from Baker, but what sort of condition has he got? Can he keep this pressure on? Good right hand from Simpson, and this time it's Baker who wants to grab. Wow, it's quite a second round here. Simpson's head's cleared now, all right. The strength's coming back after the body attack. Well, time and again in British title fights, we see what the British title means to fighters. It certainly seems to bring out a couple of extra levels of intensity, doesn't it? in all of them. Well, this is about boxing history. It's not about little baubles. This is about a meaningful title. Well, it's a great effort from Mark Baker. He doesn't score too many knockdowns, Mark Baker, but he did here, and it was a right to the body. Yes, he caught him with the body, also just knows it in there, he caught him with the head on the end of the chin, and I don't know if that's what took it out of him. It seemed more like the, the head was 
what did the damage? That's an interesting... Yeah, wow. Yeah, most definitely. That's, that's what it was. It was um, a clash of heads. Caught him right on the chin. And that's why he went down. That's why he looked so dazed. one of the more bizarre was sort of what happened next that wasn't yeah. it really <laughs> but did he hit him with the knuckle part of the chin <laughs> here's the third round Neil Simpson of Coventry in the blue trunks and Mark Baker now filling himself out of Lewisham in South East London used to be Sidcut Kent his base he's um, roamed around a little bit of late I had Ronnie Davis Chris Eubanks old sidekick training him. But for this fight it's Brian Lawrence down at the Lennox Lewis gym in London. He is one tough man, this Mark Baker. When he was 15 years old, he used to have fights against grown men using orange peel for gum shields on the gypsy sites. You look at his hands, they're covered in scars from bare knuckle fights. And he's asking some pretty big questions here of Neil Simpson. <laughs> Tougher Simpson who prepared for Corbett. And there's a cut by the right eye by the look of it of Simpson. By the side of the right eye. Well, Simpson has to try and get his boxing going. He's got to look for the clean punches. He's getting involved in a, a brawl which is shooting Baker more. Likes this sort of thing. Mark Baker. Beating people like Sven Hamer and Mark Delaney in his time. And Danny Juma as well. But beaten in British and Commonwealth fights against... Clinton Woods, who's with us tonight, Dean Francis, who stopped him in the last round, and David Starry in a terrible fight, frankly, last year. What happens in this one? Simpson having to cover up and cut, and Baker getting the better of these early stages. Simpson trying to come out with some shots there with Baker. Good head movement just to avoid the, the most of them. What Baker's record tells you, Glenn, is it takes good men to beat him. Yes, it, it does. You know, he's the type, he's tough, he's durable, he's rugged. You know, he'll really push his opponents very, very hard. And it takes the, you know, the best of them. To get wins over him. Good body shots from Simpson. And a right cross too. Terrific action in the last few seconds of the third. In the corner for Neil Simpson who's got a cut. And this is how we think it happened. Well I think that probably is. He really caught the head. I think it's all accidental and accidental and you know really Simpson didn't need to be in close but he's allowing himself in this sort of broad fight there's always going to be damage with the head. He needs to get behind his, his jab and use his, his better boxing. Baker's making it his kind of fight at the moment. Fourth round due to go 12 for the British light heavyweight crown held in the past by the likes of Len Harvey, Freddie Mills, Randolph Turpin, Chris Finnegan and John Conte. Good left hands from Simpson. But Baker won't mind this. It's close quarter warfare. Simpson needs to get Baker on the end of that jab more. Well, that's more of his type of fight, Baker. He likes it in close. He likes... The, the rugged, tough fight. And uh, he'll be starting to warm into this sort of fight. Simpson needs to, to catch him more cleanly. 
and he'll use his jab and his boxing skills more than he is. Good right to the body again from Baker. Body punches from Simpson. Simpson just has to weather this period of the fight. And just maybe, looking at the pair of them, he might be the one with the extra fitness and conditioning for the later part of the fight. But I wouldn't bet on it too much, knowing Baker's normal character and approach. Well, you, you'd think almost definitely Simpson would be the, the better condition, but... You know, it's not always about that big as a hard man. You know, and he'll you know, he'll be difficult to be denied. Right up a cut on the inside from Baker. The interesting intelligence from those uh, sparring sessions these two had a few weeks ago down at Finchley was that Simpson had got the better of them. So the Simpson claim, a uh, camp claim, they say they actually stopped Baker in one of the sessions. Well, uh, you know, lots of times in gym sessions, um, camps claim that it just depends, you know, what was Simpson's um, biggest motives. You know, he might have thought, well, you know, I'm not too bothered to spawn, I'm not getting paid a lot. Yeah. It's always different than the, the real thing. Never read too much into yes. what goes on in the gym. Yes, there's lies, damn lies, and gym rumors. <laughs> that hook, Baker got there with the right hand. Three live matches, two o'clock. England, Brazil, live only on Sky Sports 2. Live and interactive only on Sky Digital. 2.30, live from Hamden, it's the Scottish Cup final, Aberdeen and Rangers. And at 7, exclusively live coverage from Slovakia, the European Under-21 Championship, Italy against England. And this, by the way, at the Sky Dome in Coventry, the first British title fight in this city ever was a Commonwealth Championship fight involving Dick Turpin at Highfield Road football ground in 1948. It's a bit of history tonight. Simpson, remember, in the blue turquoise type trunks. Referee Dave Paris asking them to pull the arms out, just clean it up a bit on the inside. Getting a bit messy. That's a great left hand from Simpson. Found the right too. Good work from him. Simpson, 16 wins and 11 defeats. It doesn't sound a great pedigree to bring into a fight like this. It's a good right hand from him. He's doing the work that matters in this session so far. Yes, now he's starting to pick the cleaner punches of the two. And this is what he needs. He needs to get a little bit of distance between the two and look to pick shots like that. It's cleaner work again from Simpson with his back to the ropes down the left hook. Baker does come in on tram lines. It's quite easy to catch, and Simpson's managing to do that. Yes, he's just starting to, maybe Baker's slowing down a bit, getting a bit tired, but Simpson's starting to pick the cleaner punches. Simpson again with a right hand. Just looking a little more laboured at this point, Baker. begs the question really did he make the very fast start knowing that he possibly didn't have the conditioning 
to go really hard for 12. Well, you think that would be on his mind, that would be a, a thing to do. You're know, calling a short notice, you've got to try and go for it a little bit. Having said that, he's a fighter with his kind of record who's just got a lot of natural base fitness to call on. Yes, he, you know, he's a rugged, strong, tough guy, and you know, he can always call upon that. Simpson's round, I think. Well, Simpson coming back pretty well, and it's probably even the fight up on the cards. What do you think, Glenn? Yeah, my God, I've got it even now. Simpson just getting back in with sharper boxing over the last couple of rounds. Maybe Baker just feeling the, the pace more of the two. Intelligence from the Baker corner is that his men are telling him to come in low and go for the body attacks. So he lands a left hook to the head. Yeah, he's just trying to fool the rest of us, isn't he? They believe Simpson struggles when it's on the inside. Well, I think they'd be right. You know, Simpson needs a little bit of room to get his punches off. All the textbooks saw the boxer. Just carries chin a little high on the inside. Does have a tendency to lift it. And that's what Big has got to look for. Bandage coming a bit loose on the left glove of Simpson. He's going to be looking to land at the chin, preferably with his gloves this time and not his head. Well, it worked all right, didn't it? Worked it worked well. Simpson <laughs> never seen it coming. It's a new one, that. They'll be working on that one out in gyms up and down the country tomorrow oh, let's morning. Hope, let's hope not. Oh, left hook from Baker. And Simpson is down from that. Yet again, for the second time in the contest. Gets up at eight. It was a left hook. Fair and square to the chin this time. Looks a bit tired, breathing heavily. And Baker here fancies he can take this British title. Really going for it. Simpson, and a long time left in the round as well. Well, he's doing the right thing, Mark Bigger. It's good pressure from him. Simpson does lift his chin up, and Vegas trying to find it. Relentless attack from Baker. Who knows that he has to seize the moment while he has his man in trouble. This is a big attack from Baker. Dave Parrish, the referee, has a slightly closer look at the man from Coventry, who almost came up gulping for air. Well, Baker probably senses the strength just going out of Simpson a bit. That's why he's really put this surge on. It is not looking good for Simpson at the moment, this. You can almost feel the anxiety from the Coventry crowd. He glances over at his corner. Simpson looking for some ideas. But they can't help him at the moment. It's a massive round for Baker at the moment. Simpson almost fighting on instinct. His senses, undoubtedly, a little scrambled, having taken that left hook. Looks like he's fighting through a fog at the moment, doesn't he? Well, this is, it's a hard stage in the fight for him. He's hurt, he's been down, it's, it's all looking bad, but he's got to somehow try and lift himself. It's tough to do at this stage. How he needs that bell, Simpson. Baker couldn't quite produce the finish, but he did produce the knockdown. Look at this. Well, he just turned him there. It was a good move from Baker. He just got him off balance, just twisted his body round there, just twists him round and comes straight back with a left hook. As Simpson's wondering what's happening. There it is, just a little twist, little shove off. With the, with the hand, just turned him on the angle and then brought the left hook straight in. You wondered if Simpson was going to get up from that for a moment, the way he fell on his back. He went down heavily, I think he's tired as well. Been a very physical fight. And Baker really putting the pressure on and Simpson and the heavy fire. Well, you do feel for Neil Simpson. He's worked so hard for this in his home city. Now, has that minute worked wonders for him?
Baker, another good left hook. There's no such thing, is there, as an easy fight against Mark Baker? No, I'm sure them fellas in the car park when he was a teenager had a rough old night as well. Orange peel or no orange peel. Yeah, he's a maverick character in a way. He likes a Guinness and the odd fry up as well. He doesn't worry about things like that. Well, boxing you know, is different in a way to other sports. It's OK having the ability and the talent, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's a tough sport, mm. and it's about hard men. And this is a throwback type of man, isn't it? Very much so. He could have been around in the 1930s. He wouldn't claim to be supremely talented, but what he does have is immense heart and grit. Very, very strong. Well, there's been lots of great fighters throughout the years that relied on toughness and strength. Rocky Marciano was one who would absorb a lot, but always had the strength and heart to come through and win. He's just posed one or two little questions, too, about Simpson's punch resistance at the higher level. Yes, I think you're right there in front of you. A few doubts after this fight. Because Baker is not known as a concussive sledgehammer hitter. Can Simpson come back, though? There is time. And that's a great right hand from him. Suddenly the crowd off their feet on the far side of this darkened arena. Well, we need to find that and a lot more. Right. Baker just feel a little bit tired towards the end of this round. Maybe there's a mood swing or two left in this. Good right hand through the middle from Baker, just pushing Simpson back right. against the ropes. For me, he's still doing it more in this round, Baker. But Simpson finding another good right hand. Hook come up a cut from Baker. Tough right. stuff. Stay low, you look like fucking this year, man. You look like Marciano when you stay low. Stay low, you don't get hit. What's the matter with you? You hear that? You look like Marciano when you stay low. <laughs> That's one of the great lines, isn't it? From the corner. Listen, Mark, listen. Body shots landed so far. Baker, big advantage. There's the work. Tough and rugged, strong work from Baker Simpson trying to come back with a shot. Baker just keeping them pinned in the corner. I tell you what, Mark Baker wishes he had Rocky Marciano's money. They've never found it, have they? No, no. He hid it under trees and goodness knows where he else. His family, Roy Marshall's family, wish they had his money as well, don't they? Yeah. Here comes round eight. Baker with his back to you. We only knew that he was in this fight last Thursday. Funny the way things happen, isn't it? At the moment, he would appear to be the one in the lead here. We would want to try to second guess Dave Paris, the referee. There's Glenn's card. Yeah, three points, you know, good six round, the ten eight round made all the difference for Baker. Simpson, who comes from the tough Willen Hall area of Coventry, like Dean Piffy, close knit family. Lots of support from his uh, mum and dad, Joan and Neil. We're both loaded up there. Since we've got the, the better of the exchange. 
Christensen needs to come on strong, you feel, at this point in the contest. And he's just getting his left hand working a bit more, pushing Baker back. Baker's hair bathed in sweat. And there's a cut by the right eye of Baker. Looks like a bad one as well. He's cut. Must have been a clash of heads, I reckon, on the inside. So how bad is that? We'll try to get a closer look. Simpson makes it a target. And it might obscure the vision by the look of it. The blood from that cut. Well, it spurred Simpson on a bit, but that's something... Don't worry, the cut will not worry Mark Baker that much. Heads again banging close together there. It's a worse cut than the one Simpson sustained, I can tell you that. But Glenn's right, Baker couldn't really care less. Well, it's difficult to see how bad it is. Certainly there's more blood around than Simpson had, and Simpson spurred on by this. He needed something like that, you felt, as well, at this point in the fight. It's been a pretty grueling battle, and there's plenty of it still left. Don't throw punches after I've told you to break, says Dave Paris. So they've got work to do. Brian Lawrence and Dean Powell working the corner. Brian Lawrence, who used to be with Henry Akin one day, I remember, for a while. Remember that, Glenn? Yep, I remember. yep that's correct. Yep. <laughs> Good. Anything else to say about it? No, no, no. no. That's it. Good. The least said about Henry Akin one day, the better. <laughs> now, there, here's the clash. Of, ooh, nasty one. Well, it squares things up a little bit. They both come out. You're badly from clashes of heads, accidental, I don't think nobody's meaning anything in there, just that the styles, the rugged style of the fight, both of them have had damage because of clashes of heads. Dean Powell there on the far side, he's come a long way from that glass blowing factory in Wolverhampton, hasn't he? He can still blow the odd jug when he, when he has to. Here's the ninth round, turquoise trunks, Neil Simpson. Mark Baker, Simpson coming back again at this stage of the contest. He's had to do it once, he'd evened it up by about the end of the fifth, then Baker had him down again. He's always been chasing it in a way, hasn't he, Simpson here? Yes, he has. It really has it's been an absorbing type of fight, this. You know, not the greatest in skill, but you know they both want it so badly and they're both trying so hard. The fact of the matter is, they're both deserving cases, these two. Not in Coventry, but everywhere else. I think a Baker win would be quite well greeted in the trade, wouldn't it? I'm sure, it, of course it would. You know, this is a guy who's paid his dues, who's worked hard. You know, a tough guy trying to make a living, and you know, he would love a, a British title. That's both of them would, both of them have worked hard. Yeah, and Simpson's had... A few dodgy decisions go against him, and he's had to plough on regardless. This is a night he'd love to succeed as well in front of his home fans. So which way does it go? Well, I think this all could get down to the old cliche of who wants it more. Well, I think they both want it desperately. That's the answer. They'll have to watch those head clashes again. Frankly, these two could do with helmets in there, couldn't they? <laughs> yeah, they could. It's the way they fight. It's, it's the style of it. It's always a, a danger, clashes of heads. 
Yeah, it's, a, it's a rough trade. Simpson has been guilty, though, of neglecting his jab. Yes, he, you know, really, it was his job to try and keep it clean, use the height, use the reach. He's been lulled into a fight with Baker. Looked like a good right hand from Baker. Then pinned to the inside of the glove about his left hook that followed it. Well, at this stage in the fight, it's Simpson who's trying the harder. Baker just dropped off a little bit in his work rate, maybe feeling the, the pace. Both land with headshots. Now, has he got damaged by the other eye, Baker? Yes, he has. Little cut by the side and just above the left eye. I'm sure, again, that'll have probably been with the clashes of heads. We're now playing together quite a lot. Getting like a scene from Straw Dogs, this. He's a mess now, Baker. In the past, his uh, rugged, lived-in face has enticed TV producers. He's appeared in London's Burning and uh, Real Money. Made a bit of money doing it, too. I don't think the producers will be that interested at the moment. <laughs> well, it's always good. You've got to use what you've got, haven't you? Almost landed. The same number. Simpson four ahead on the computer. Baker throwing more. Better success from Simpson. And there again, the, the heads clashing together as both of them try to get in close, try to get the punches off. The urgent psychology of the cornermen. Here's round ten. This title vacated by Clinton Woods, one of our guests tonight. British light heavyweight crown. These two both former Chris Eubank sparring partners during his little sojourn in Dubai. Well, it's getting pretty close again, this fight. I've just got uh, one point in it in Baker's favour with Simpson. You know, getting the last two rounds on my card. I've got Baker by two. Good shots again by Baker, the right hand and then the left uppercut. Who has the most left down the stretch, as the Americans like to say? Another decent combination from Bega. Looks as if he's getting a second win and coming on strong again. And picking the punches very well. Good enough to be an ABA finalist in his amateur days, Baker. Not just a slugger. I can imagine the Amateur Boxing Association loving him. Time out here because the bandage has come loose on the left glove of Neil Simpson. Simpson's amateur days, he twice beat Michael Sprott, who's one of our top ten heavies at the moment. It's been an impressive burst from Mark Baker at the start of this round. Yes, he's been the most impressive in this round so far. Good little right though from Simpson. And that's just wrestling him to the floor. That will not count as a knockdown. Booze around the arena. It's bound to happen occasionally, that sort of thing, in a fight of this nature. He's looking the fresher in this round, Big, as if he's getting that second wind. And we did wonder, maybe unfairly, about his conditioning earlier on. That wasn't any insult to him, just the fact that he'd had to come in at such late notice. So it would be rather remarkable to come in at four days' notice and win a, a British title. That would be something a bit special. Well, it's happened, isn't it? Remember Steve Robinson coming in as a late substitute and winning a world title.
Thinks he's trying to lift himself a little bit towards the end, but maybe left it lane, didn't do enough. Yes, I think Baker's clusters early on in the round enough to win in that session. He looks very, very tired in there. I promise you, Mark, them cups, them eyes are nothing. Yeah. Do you want to drink, Mark? Now yeah, listen, Mark, drink it. One drop more, Mark. Drop more, Mark. Drink it, Mark, OK? Now listen, Mark, you've got to stay low, mate. Well, there's some good punches at the beginning of the round. Nice double jab and uppercut from Baker. Started with a little spring in a step and uh, enough for me to win the round, another good combination there, similar punches. Good right hand from Simpson. Towards the end of the round, I think, I think he maybe just left it a bit too late. Yeah, it wasn't enough, was it? I don't didn't think match, so. Didn't match the cluster that Baker threw, did it, that? No, it didn't. 11. Two rounds left. Wonder how referee Dave Paris is scoring it. Do we have to mix in the hometown thing here into our thinking then? Yes, I think we do. Yeah, you, usually do. you usually do, don't you? Yeah, I think you have to. And that, of course, would favour Simpson if it was brought into play. Not in any deliberate way, it's um, kind of it's an insidious, unspoken thing almost, isn't it? Yeah, and also a subconscious way and where the you know the noise comes when um, the local fighter yeah. scores his punches. You know that, that sometimes has an effect even subconsciously. If you're scoring, yes, you respond maybe to that. Right. So I would think Baker is thinking, I'm in his backyard. I've got to win this big. Right. You take nothing for granted in the very subjective business of boxing scoring. Well, they're both nullifying a little bit each other a bit in this round. Neither one getting through with that much quality work. Good little right hand from Simpson who caught Baker there, just unguarded on the spin. Another right hand again from Simpson. Yeah, another good one. Just towards the end of the round, just picking his punches better, Simpson. Inside the last minute of the 11, Baker's cuts holding up. His corner have told him, don't worry about them, it's OK. Baker looking flat in this round, can't get his punches off. Simpson just trying the harder, just getting through with a, a couple more. Well, it would be a remarkable triumph if Simpson did do it. He's been on the floor twice in the contest and cut early. Well, it's difficult to tell the people, the viewers at home, what it's like in this part of a, a fight, but it's so hard. Fitness is out the window, you know, now you just, it's all about guts and heart and you know, how much you want something. You're both absolutely shattered in a fight like this and it's just trying to lift yourself. Nick Simpson might well have won that round. Now then, punches landed so far. Simpson, 177. Baker, 177. Close. Scoring draw. Well, I've got it closing up, you know, closing up all the time. I've got it. I give Simpson the last round, so I've got Baker ahead just by one. But uh, yeah, I mean, it could always be the other way around, couldn't it? The, the fact is, I think it's got to be pretty close this fight. I've got Baker by two going into the final session, but um, I wouldn't give you that long an argument about it. He does have the two knockdowns in his favour. Simpson is the man fighting at home. They're brilliant Lonsdale bout. Such a very, very handsome 
thing that is, it really is. Here's the final round. Turquoise trunks of Neil Simpson of Coventry at home, trying to win the British title in front of his family and his friends here. But has he done enough? Is this a crowning moment at last for Mark Baker at the age of 30? A man who was contemplating retirement a matter of months ago. It's close-ish. Yes, I wouldn't give a big argument either way. Both of them have had their successes. Baker has looked the better because he's had the knockdowns. Darren Corbett will be waiting around here for the winner, I'm sure. We might even see a rematch. Whatever happens to Baker, he's right back in the picture. It's been a great effort from him. But is it a winning effort? Now, irritatingly here, the gloves have come loose again. It's amazing, isn't it? Here we are, new century, and we've still got the sticky tape coming loose on boxing gloves. Well, sticky tape still gets wet and the yeah. adhesive still gets unsticky and... Yeah. <laughs> Men on the moon, but we can't sort that out. been more cuts. And they both have a headache and we'll need a couple of aspirins tomorrow morning. So often have the heads cracked. Well, it's a, a rugged last round to go with the rest of them. Simpson may be just doing it a bit more than bigger, bigger, feeling the, the pace and Simpson really trying so hard in this round maybe not a vintage renewal of the famous championship but plenty of action and absorbing enough the draw maybe wouldn't be the, the worst decision in a fight like this although two in one night maybe a bit much more than we can take can rule it out well the way it's going on my card i've got to give simpson this last round so on my card i would give it a draw Simpson with a little right uppercut here. There's the clock running it down. Last few seconds, we'll get the bell any moment, and the answer to... Whose crowning night will this be? There is the final bell. It's gone to Simpson. Neil Simpson gets it on home turf. And it must have been desperately close, and how disappointed is Mark Baker, who put his man on the floor twice, but still found that it wasn't quite enough. I must say, I had Baker a one-point winner, but you had it level then. I had a level with Simpson working the hard in the last round. Couldn't give a big argument either way really but big after putting him on the floor will feel a little bit aggrieved by that sad for him really yet again he just comes up short in a big big fight but well done to neil simpson it was too close really to have a long argument there's no claims of injustice or anything like that there well done to neil simpson the car worker from Coventry, does it at home. He is the new British light heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 fantastic rounds of championship boxing, referee Dave Paris has scored the contest for Baker, 113 points. For Simpson, 114 points. Your winner and the new British light heavyweight champion, from the Premiership City of Coventry, Neil Simpson!
and he's done it by one point. So he might well have done and it in that last and round. For a very, very game opponent indeed, Mark Baker. Now to present the coveted Lonsdale belt to call upon our Stuart Charge. Every time you think Mark Baker's done enough to win one, something goes wrong. But let's not forget that Simpson got a very, very contentious defeat in Coventry just before Christmas. So in that sense, his turn, I suppose. Nicky Piper. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's the reason for the... No, not at all. Not for him, of course. But uh, it was a very close fight. I couldn't have argued either way, whichever way it went. Uh, the referee obviously went for just the slightly better boxing in the majority of rounds. I read that as a seven rounds uh, to, to, to Simpson uh, and four to to uh, Baker with one in one shade because the two knockdowns being a two point, two point difference for, for Baker in two rounds. Having said that, the first knockdown we clearly saw was a, was a, a legal blow. I think Ian Dark's going to muscle his way in there and try and get a word with the winner. Well, I think Neil wanted to get straight to the dressing rooms. Neil, many, many congratulations. New British light heavyweight champion. How does that sound? Uh, it's a ball to me. It's what I trained for for about 20 years since I started boxing since I was 10. This is what I dreamt. And it's come tonight. Did you think you'd won it? It was obviously very, very close yeah. on that. Very, very close because I was down twice, wasn't I? I still thought I was winning it. It was a very scrappy fight. I mean, it wasn't a very good fight, I don't think. But uh, I thought, I, I, I was hoping I was just, just ahead, and I was in the end. What does this mean, do you think, to the city of Coventry? Because you haven't had a British champion since yeah. Danny McAlinden and Bobby Arthur yeah. in the 70s. That's what, it's been for Coventry. I'm just the first one. Dean Piffy, Richard Everett, Tony Conroy. The two pain brothers, Mark and Gareth, I think they're all going to be champions. And your mum and dad, they, were they here tonight? They were here tonight, I don't know where they are. They are here. But they were here, yeah. And all your, all your friends as well? All my friends, all my family, all my workmates from Coventry Press Work, thanks for coming. Thanks for my work for giving me the time off as well, giving me five weeks off to get ready. I had to get ready, because you see what, you see what sort of fight it was. Yeah, I did it. All right, you've paid your dues in this business. Well done tonight, well done. The European champion, Clinton Woods, breathless at ringside with Adam Smith. And does Neil Simpson deserve to be holding your old belt, or do you think Mark Baker should have had a share? Well, to be truthful, I thought it was uh, more of a draw. I thought, the, I thought Simpson fought the wrong fight, so truthful, I thought uh, it walked straight into Baker's um, scheme. I think uh, he's, he's done well to win the title, a tough fight. All the best to him, all the best to Mark Baker. I hope he can come back. Thanks very much, Clinton. Thank you very much. Big Fight Series continues Tuesday evening at 10 on Sky Sports 3, the career of Sonny Liston. And other boxing attractions coming up. Danny Williams tops the bill on Friday night live at 10.30, the WBO Intercontinental Heavyweight title against Alexander Vasiliev. That's Sky Sports 2 this Friday night at 10.30. And we're back with more live action on Saturday Fight Night. Again, it's 10.30, Sky Sports 3, Simon Ramoni against Pat Mullings at Super Bantamweight. My thanks to Nicky Piper for being with us here. It was a thriller again. Thank you also for your company. Dean Pithy maybe got a bit of good fortune tonight. Neil Simpson has earned his good fortune, and he is the new British light heavyweight champion. But you do have to feel for Mark Baker yet again.